Hi Pisces, welcome to Key Wisdom to Raw. My name is Ruth, I'm your Reiki Master and Tower Reader and this, my darlings, is your Sub Moon and Stars reading for February into March 2020. We're going to look at three distinct areas, my darlings. So the first of all, we're going to look at your Sun, which is your Divine Masculine, which covers your actions and experiences in the month of February. We'll then look at the Moon, which is your Divine Feminine, which covers your emotions, your intuition, your feelings everything that's beneath the surface for you in the month of February and then finally we'll look at the star section of your reading which is all about what's to come okay so that's at the end of the month and into the first week of March so my darlings I've shuffled already I've meditated already I'll do a little bit more on camera and then we'll get started on your reading Okay, my darlings, card at the base of the reading is the Knight of Pentacles. Now, the card at the base of the reading is the perspective that you need, that you will be seeing this time period through. And the, and the Knight of Pentacles is, indicates change, indicates practical changes that you, and things that you're doing to bring about practical changes in your life that bring about stability. The Pentacles energy is related to everything that we do in order to manifest security in our life, okay? And in order to bring that about. And the King of Pen the Knight of Pentacles, all the knights actually, and all the court cards, the queens, the kings, the pages, they all are about different changes that we go through and the things that we do in order to bring about change. So this is you are being very sh potentially studious, very um it might, might be training for example this could indicate a study for example it's something that maybe has taken some time but you're finally going to start to see you're going to start to see the fruits of your labor you're going to start to see why you've been working so hard it could be working on your healing you could have been healing for example whatever it is for you though the things that you have been trying to bring about the changes that you've been trying to bring about um for some time are finally going to come to fruition in the month of February and March 2020. The reason I put this on here is just to indicate to me because this card and the words were were itching to was itching to get out to see you today. So we'll look at the moon the sun section of your reading. So we'll start with the night the king of swords. I'll tell you, oh my gosh. The king of swords and the um nine of wands I'll tell you why I said, oh my gosh, in a second, the Ace of Swords and the Six of Cups. Now, I said to you, didn't I, that I've already shuffled, I've already meditated. And I have, I always do. It's not a lie, I really do it. So before I turn the camera on in between meetings, I'll I'll have I'll move away from the desk, I'll shuffle, blah, blah, blah. And guess which two cards threw themselves across the room when I was shuffling? These two cards here. The King of Swords and the nine of wands so interesting that these cards wanted to be the first cards out you see how i shuffled the deck and how i you know i don't there's no way i anyway you can see but let's have a look we've got the king of swords so these are remember these cards are your divine masculine your actions and experiences in the month of 
<laughs> this is interesting, actually. Actions and experiences in the month of February. So we've got the King of Swords, first of all. Now, the sword energy is related to your awareness. So what you know in your conscious mind. Um, your clarity and your communication. So how you communicate your truth. How you communicate, if you commun communicate clearly or not. And you do um, with this card. That's what the sword energy rep represents, as well as your mind, as well as your ideas and your perspective about yourself, about your life, about your experiences, blah, blah, blah. That's what the sword energy represents. Now, all the court cards represent change, um, represent, as I said, changes or as different levels of change that we go through, aspects of change that we go through. So this indicates with the king of swords, one, confidence, because it's the king. Uh, excuse me, confident action, because it's the king. All the kings are masculine. So it's all about the, the confident action and speaking clearly, thinking clearly, thinking confidently. There's an interesting thing, though, when we look at the rest of these cards, because this is about others as well. It's about other people. It's about or, or about experiences that have already happened to you, things from the past that have made you now want to that have actually brought about this change for you you're in a position in the month of february where you're ready to communicate clearly and have a clear conversation or or um interaction with somebody now who is this somebody who is this person what is this conversation about well the reason we know that it's something that's that's been long standing so this is something that's going to bring about change you've been trying to steady yourself it seems in order that you can have this conversation in order that you can speak freely um or if it's personal completely personal this could be about what you you being willing to finally confront something about yourself you being willing to accept or acknowledge something about yourself about your suffering or about where you are today and why you will understand what that means if that if that is what it is for you as an individual okay now this card here the nine of wands indicates that this has been there's a there's a there's a previous something's previously happened a previous trauma or a previous experience that you are as i said now willing to confront so it could be with regard to another person. It could be with regard to looking back at a past situation, a past relationship, your upbringing, a key, uh, an experience that has, has really, um, a, a, that's really become a part of you. You know, it's, for example, I'll give you an example. So for example, um, you could be, um, a very basic example, your mum and dad, when you were growing up, they divorced and so you are afraid of commitment, for example. That's a really basic one, but it's just one that's easy to, to sort of reel off, if you will. So that this could be you now finally will, saying, okay, let me confront this issue with myself. I, I need to recognise that I am afraid of commitment. And the reason I'm afraid of commitment is because of what happened with my mum and dad. For example, this is the, this is the type of energy that, that that's being sort of, that, that's coming up for you guys okay so whatever it is you're confronting whether it's another person whether you're going to be talking to another person about about what you're feeling that's what you're doing and it's something that elicits a certain amount of raw so emotion if you will but even though the raw emotions there which is indicated by this card and as i said it's been it's become a part of you almost it's become a part of your identity this thing that happened your mum dad breaking up that means it, it shouldn't affect you in that way but it has it's normal anyway you you get my drift but what i'm saying is now we went ready to confront it that's what you you feel it's the it's time to confront it and this shows that you've been doing a lot of inner work it shows that you've been doing a lot of inner work with this knight of pentacles you've been actually putting time and energy and effort into trying to understand how can i be more emotionally stable how can i my self-esteem be more stable how can i my ideas or my identity be more stable for example and so now it's time for you to confront them. So this suggests that you've been doing this work and it's been something that's taken you a long time. You might have been isolated. You know, number nines are linked to the um, the hermit energy as well. So number nines, hermit, isolation. Um, but it also could indicate um, that because it's number nine and linked to hermit the diligence the focus of the of the of Virgo sign this indicates that we are 
with it being one energy we are we feel it's time to look at it you just feel it's time to, to confront it you feel it's time to 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 have the conversation or to or to talk about it with you with your counselor or to speak to your mum and dad or whatever it is or speak to you whatever yeah that's this energy and even though it's scary you are also feel i feel a huge amount of confidence it's as if you re realize and recognize it. it doesn't make you weak it doesn't make you bad it doesn't make you stupid it doesn't make you crazy this is something that happened and naturally it affects us so our past everything that has every single thought we've ever had in our lives every single conversation interaction affects who you are today the person that you are today and that means that a conversation that you have tomorrow will affect who you are tomorrow that's what it means so we constantly change and and, it, and our, our situations that we experience constantly have an impact on who we are and our perspective and our individuality and our identity but it's time that you confront it and you know that and you're ready to you're ready to even if there's fear you're still ready to confront it there's a real the ace of swords here again this energy the energy the wands energy but also the energy here with the ace of wands of feeling like you can't hold it in any longer you you can't ignore the thoughts any longer you have to start to confront them this is what you're feeling and this is what you're doing it's not only what you're feeling it's what you're doing this is you this is these cards that's showing actions and experiences divine masculine here these cards are showing that you're actually going to take steps you're actually going to do things you're going to have conversations you're going to think about it you might meditate on it you might discuss it with friends or family or whatever this issue is that's been that's been bringing about a certain a level of instability um, and it's, it's linked to your past could be childhood past could be an ex-partner whatever but it's time that you confront how that situation has affected you you've been but you how, how it's affected your identity and you have been on a journey in trying to understand and establish your yourself trying to understand yourself trying to understand who you are trying to understand why you are the way you are you've been on that journey and so now it's time to see it and now it's time to change it and this card here the six of um cups also you know we link this to the past we link this to the past and that's because number six is is a sixes are about balance and they're about the recognition of the significance of what we of where we were of the past experiences that we have it's linked to your um your third eye your this this um card the number six isn't your which is the center of your consciousness your wisdom your intuitive mind it's it's about that's what number six is related to and the sixth chakra is related to it's related to Hasid. it's related to love it's related to balance and when we have this energy here it's about what i know and what i think so what that basically what have my experiences taught me and and what has the past showed me and recognizing that the past was important because that means that that makes up part of who you are understanding that that's the number six so you there's a very sobering um energy for you in february where you are having conversations or you're confronting things in your mind in your meditation in your in your counseling sessions with your friends with your family whatever it is for you as an individual you're actually starting to confront some of the 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 situations or circumstances that have got you to where you are now i would say to you actually check out the um wow check out the conscious meditation in the key wisdom playlist there's con there's a couple of conscious meditations and that's about how we or how i work through um this type of energy so when i have when i'm afraid to confront something or when i I'm feeling a certain way but not really understanding what I'm feeling I go through this process of conscious meditation speaking to myself basically but I film it for you for your pleasure um but it could help you to learn a lot of people in the in the if you read the comments of that on those videos a lot of people say oh my god this is it's really helped me to unlock things for myself and understand and confront things so I would definitely say if that's what you're dealing with and it looks like you are in the month of February definitely check out those videos okay so we'll move on to the the stars excuse me the moon section which is what's going on beneath the surface what you're feeling your emotions your intuition etc this is what is going on for you in the month of February we have got the magician we've got the seven of wands we've got the two of swords and we've got the eight of swords okay so beneath the surface there's there's a sort of just a second
Now it's interesting because what it shows is that your, I'll tell you exactly what it said, what, what I just heard, your defences are down in some, but not all. So in some areas within yourself, energetically, you have opened up, you have acknowledged you have accepted you have understood how this has affected you why your life has been this way why you think of this person this situation yourself whatever it is in a certain way you've allowed yourself to open up and some of your defenses are down but there are other areas and other aspects that your defenses are still up where your defenses are still raised now that is about self-preservation I'm speaking to you intuitively because that's the message. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the cards individually in a second. You are having a an awakening, a um, an emotional awakening, a spiritual awakening. And when we say when I talk about spiritual and emotional, what I mean by that is just everything that is you that is not physical. So not your hands and your arms and your legs and your feet. But your ideas, your memories, your thoughts, your feelings, your behavior, your um, how you, your perceptions, etc., your dreams, your moral code, your spirituality—all those things are you. They're just non-physical, and all those other aspects of yourself, you are becoming more and more in tune with, and it's allowing you to be more open with yourself first and foremost, and then with other people. But what it also is showing is that there are still some areas in which you are, you have not fully opened yet. But that is appropriate because awareness is something you cannot force. We can we can attempt to open, open, to see and to question and to understand. We can attempt to do that, which is what you're doing and attempting to do. But there are still some areas in where you, you pull back. So you get to certain doors in your mind and you just walk past them without opening the doors. You don't want to look in that room yet. And that is fine. Um, so what's going on beneath the surface for you? That was an intuitive message. So I just have to say it like that. Okay, what's going on beneath the surface for you? So we've got the magician energy here. Looks very beautiful in this lighting. Just, just that perfect position. The magician energy is, yes, number one. So new beginnings. This feeling of being able to change things. Being able to create or to recreate or to shift your perception of yourself, but also also how other people perceive you. This is the openings of to a new understanding of your own strength, your own personal power. It's as if, and this is this is I'm going to tell you because I've been in this position before. This is recognizing that. All it takes, this is like you recognising that all it takes for you to have more balance emotionally or mentally is for you to accept right now, today, in this second, in this moment, how I'm feeling. Not to judge it, not to interpret it, just to label it, just to acknowledge it. That is actually what brings about that acknowledgement. This is how I really feel. This is how I really think. This is what I really want. This is, this is, I, I'm afraid, I'm scared. What I, I'm happy, I'm not, whatever it is you're feeling. This is like you, the, the realisation, the light bulb moment in your mind that just by recognising how I feel, I feel stronger. Just by recognising and labelling I feel sad, for example, gives me strength. This is the combination of these energies. And this is what you must hold on to. You need to hold on to and recognise in the month of February. And you do. And this is something that's ongoing for you. This is a, this is something that's going to be ongoing for you in the through the course of 2020. The recognition that how I feel is how I feel. What I think is what I think. And I do not have to interpret that. And it's okay to just share that. And not... We don't have to worry about how somebody else might respond or how it might make somebody else feel because it still doesn't change your reality, does it? If someone else is 
if, if I say the tr if I say to this person or to this job I'm not happy, they might be unhappy. But it still doesn't change. But because they're unhappy, doesn't change the fact that that's still not what you want. And it's as if the recognition of that in itself, that thought, that idea, it's about recognizing that awareness in itself is what brings about strength for you. This is what you're realizing in the month of February. And this is what these cards indicate. And this is what you must hold on to. Now, this is what you're feeling beneath the surface. Number seven, again, I mean, I've just basically spoke about number seven just then. Seven of wands. Wand energy is, again, related to our life force, your key, your chi, your energy, the things that we're drawn towards, the things that we that, that feel instinctively and intuitively right to us. They make sense on a level, even if we can't articulate that to another person. We hold on to that. And this is this is really a really important month. It, it seems like, again, acknowledging and becoming aware and using your awareness is the most important thing. And that is actually what gives you strength. And that's actually what helps you to manifest the security, the strength, the healing that you've been with, that you've been waiting for, that you've been searching for. So you've got to hold on to that. Now, some of you are is that a word? Trepidatious. Yeah, I think that's the right the right the right wording. It's only been a couple of years since I've not been teaching English and you'd think I'd remember my uh, <laughs> my language, darling. But anyway, some of you are trepidatious in a sense of it's because there's other people involved. So for some of you, as I said, it's like, it's like a quick example. You work for the family business, you know, you, this, this, you know, this family business, you work for the family business, but you no longer want to work for the family business because you're not happy. You don't want to do it. You've you've always wanted to be a photographer. I don't know. So uh, you you have to tell your siblings or your dad or whatever, or your mum whatever that you don't want to work at the family business anymore. I, I, this is you saying, "Oh my god, yeah, I just don't want to work there. I just don't want to work there." And it doesn't matter how they respond. You still just don't want to do that. You still want to be a photographer. This is that type of energy. But some of you are afraid to say what it is you want or what it is you need or what it is you feel because you because there's other people involved because you, you'll affect what you say what you feel will affect other people but what did i just say to you it doesn't just because they don't want it or they don't like it or do want it and do it doesn't affect your reality you still feel how you feel and that is what matters so you have to start to listen to that and it's been a slow journey for you to understand that your reality trumps, should, it doesn't, generally, for those people that are not walk, um, but your reality should trump everyone else's because your life is built on your back. Anyway, I'm digressing. So we've got here, this is where we see the trepidation, a decision to make for some of us, an, a new commitment, a new way of thinking, a new perspective. One, two, though. So we've got some progress coming. So... The awareness, in a way, not forces you, but because you now accept, for example, you know, I, this thing's affecting me this way, or I now need to change my life, I need to change what I'm doing. The awareness in itself brings about the idea that you have to now, you can't stay in the same situation, can you? This is that. You can't stay in the same situation, can you? Or can you? This is that. So there's this, there's this sort of, going on within you in you in the month of February. It's like, I now know what I want or who I want or where I want to be or what I don't want. I now know that. Or I now know why I was that way. And now I can now, knowing that brings about change, doesn't it? Because now there's a new step, a new step that you need to take, a new place that you need to go. But there's, an, not an, um, there's a trepidation about whether you should do that, whether you should go there. This card tells us, yes, you should. Because actually what you're doing by ignoring your truth is you you are refusing to give compassion to yourself. You must care about how you feel. You must care about, about what it is you want, even if, and you know 
that what you want and acknowledging how you feel and acknowledging who what you understand about your life you understand now or in february you understand that that matters and it's that understanding and that acknowledgement of your truth that actually is going to bring about the changes and the stability and the strength that you have been searching for that you've been working toward and yet there are potentially other people involved there are potentially other people that might get hurt by that might be hurt or oh, that's what you think that's what you think it doesn't mean it's gonna happen you are just acknowledge you don't have to explain you don't have to interpret you just have to label i feel sad i feel afraid i feel drawn to this job i feel drawn to this person whatever it is just acknowledge it you don't have to because by acknowledging it that reveals the next step don't decide what you think you should do and how they would respond and what you what will happen blah, blah blah just acknowledge how you feel just acknowledge what you think that's all you need to do because you recognize in february that the acknowledgement is what brings about the strength the acknowledgement is what is what is what's going to help to manifest the way open to you if you're in a relationship or a marriage or in a partnership or a business whatever with other people still i would say acknowledge what it is you want and feel because this is nowhere to treat yourself the eight of swords the eight of swords eights are this is basically being stuck in a way of thinking eights are linked to um karmic cycles and karmic cycles we go through these in order to bring about new awareness and new understanding when it comes to the eight of swords here this is about being stuck in a way of thinking in a cyclical way of thinking we are stuck in the way of thinking of yeah, but if I do this, then it's going to be other people. Or, or we are stuck in a way of thinking of, yeah, but it doesn't matter what I want because others are the thing, other people matter more than me. Or whatever. You're stuck in a way of thinking, whatever that is for you. But being stuck in that way of thinking means that you're blind to your own truth. You're blind to what it is you want, to what it is you need. No longer this, this, this time. So I know that you think that you're being compassionate, but what do we ask? What does Macau Yusui, the great man, the founder of Reiki, he asks, it, you can't see it at the top, but it says, the secret method of inviting happiness through many blessings. And in, and it has on there, be compassionate toward yourself as well as others. And it's not compassionate to ignore. Once you know how you feel and what you think, it's not compassionate to yourself to ignore it. Because if you ignore it, what you tell yourself, which is what this card says, is that you don't matter. Is that what you feel doesn't matter, that what you think doesn't matter, what you want doesn't matter. And that is not true because it does matter and it brings about security and stability if we acknowledge those things so there's a decision not a decision necessarily but some of you are as i said the path's opened up now because i acknowledge and i understand how who i am how this affected me what i need blah 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 you acknowledge that and then it comes the point where we've got to pause and we've got to really start to ferment uh, ferment cement <laughs> cement what it is we want and the decisions we want to make and the action we want to take this is an ongoing process though for the for the year of 2020 so don't there's no rush at all there's no rush but again acknowledge that brings about strength and what you feel as an individual does matter regardless of what else is going on around you okay so it's definitely a year of change for you actually and um, for it and definitely a, a year of change for you 2020 and we see that beginning um, in the month of february okay let's look at the stars then so we're moving on now to march to what's coming towards well i'm glad to see that card so we're moving on to march to what's coming towards you in march or toward at the end of this month of february and into march what can we expect in that first week of march so actually you know, it's going to take you this month though but you're going to get there which is good to see because you have to you can't you, you're tying yourself up in knots um in, in emotionally and in your mind in the month of um, February by not expressing to other people what it is you feel, what it is you want. But come the end of the month, end of Feb, begin, and, and come the first week of March, you're at the point where it's like, okay, in fact, well, let's look at the rest of them. You're at the point where you recognise that it's time that you do what you do feel matters and what you feel think matters. And it is definitely time for you to, um, to you know, to make 
to make that known to others. You can't hold this in any longer. And and who knows? As I said, it doesn't mean that you're gonna you have this conversation or you have this realization and then in, in February and then you leave your job in the first of March. No, it doesn't mean that. It's the, the beginning of this process though of you actually acknowledging that that you know, recognising the importance of your stability mentally and emotionally. It's important and it's about time that you actually put effort into creating that for yourself. So we've got the Ten of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you are. Okay, so maybe some of you will be getting the new... No, I don't know. New jobs, uh, this could indicate. And the King of Wands. Well, okay, so I'm very excited. So see, we... See, this is the thing. We have... People think that it's bad, you know, oh my God, it's so bad to have this, it's so bad. No, it's not bad, it's necessary. You know, we have these experiences in order to bring us into awareness. That's what karmic experiences are for, the four hour awareness. And awareness brings growth, awareness brings expansion of the mind um, and compassion for ourselves, yes, but for others as well. So you've got to realise that this is where you're going. So I'm excited for you, I'm smiling now. You can't see me, but I'm smiling. Okay, so... <laughs> got the ten of swords first of all so the, the a ten is um the ending and ending and the beginning so you've got a one and a zero so you've got a one which is about a new beginning that indicates a new start and a zero is an opportunity for a new start so here with the ten of swords we've thought about it all yeah but how will they respond what if i upset them what if they what what are people gonna say i'm gonna have no money da, da, da. you could either stay there tie yourself up in knots think about everyone else so i know all that Am I going to stay here or I'm going to get up and I'm going to go anywhere? And it's hard, but it looks like you get up and you go anywhere. This is what is showing here. It's showing, yes, we talked about change at the beginning of this reading and that's indicated in all the um, water signs so far. There's change coming, but this is a much more... Um, you know, you are, you know, you're in your feelings. So you have to... You have to acknowledge them i mean we we can't ignore our feelings they're, they're as, as important as our as eating and as sleeping so we need to acknowledge and it looks like some of you do walk away from this from this way of thinking from this way of feeling you know this way of feeling unworthy like this way of feeling like it doesn't matter what you feel thank the universe that you're actually moving away from that energy you're moving away from thinking that you're what you want doesn't matter and how you feel doesn't matter you're moving away from that with the eight of cups cups is about your emotions it's about your emotional body your emotional world your intuitive self water linked to your sign as well and eight again new karmic cycles it's about karmic cycles it's about the end of feeling and thinking in this way this is what we're moving away from we're moving towards our nine of cups which is our wish fulfillment towards what it is we want and we're moving towards brand new opportunities new opportunities and new beginnings concrete new beginnings this is in march so this is soon you know this is soon so ace of pentacles so pentacles energy is where we put our energy and effort in order to manifest security and this is a new this is a new opportunity for security. This could be um, wealth, a new way of making money. So for some people, it will be a new job. It could be a new relationship. It could be it's something new in your life that's real, though, that's concrete. It could be This could be you being offered an opportunity. Um, this could be, for example, I mean, I remember when I was still teaching and I was like, it got to the point where I, was like, I can't teach this anymore. Like, I, I, anyway, so I resigned. I was like, I acknowledged, you know what, it's too hard, this job. Like, it's too hard teaching English. Like, I need to, like do like or whatever i can't remember how i so anyway i acknowledged that and then i went to and i and i went and i told my and i had a meeting with my headmistress and i said to her i said look i said i can't i'm handing in a resignation like i can't do this job anymore i'm it's just too hard and actually she refused my resignation and she said why don't we like change your timetable a bit so you can like do some drama as well as doing some english because i was an english teacher um, you know, go see the drama department, blah, blah, blah. So this could be something like that. This could be you saying to your boss, do you know what, boss? Like, I, I just can't, like, I can't. And them saying, okay, what about different, what about working from home more? What about doing part-time? What about doing this type of opportunity? What about doing staff training? Whatever. This could be like that. But whatever it is that's offered to you, and it feels like something is going to be offered to you, just by the acknowledgement, you know, just by you acknowledging that this is not exactly the right fit for you, new opportunities come about. And, and ones that you are confident about now this could be with a person it could be as i said you know you could be you could say to the person you could be reuniting with somebody i don't know whatever it is but or with your 
family or friends, you know, you could be re-establishing yourself, having a new type of relationship, having a more open relationship. Um, you know, you you if you said to your mum and dad, oh, you know, you broke up and that made me means I'm no good with commitment. You have that conversation and you expecting that and you've not had this conversation up to this point because, you know, your mum and dad never taken a responsibility. Well, actually, this time they do. And they said, you know what? Yeah, you're right. And that actually starts about a new type of relationship. So you apply it to your life. It's hard to do all these different things because I'll be here all day. Anyway, King of Wands, or what it shows is that there's confidence here now. So what, what's going on is, is we we're, we start and we end with kings. So we, we have what kings represent is action. They represent action, things that we do and they also represent um things that we do to bring about the changes that are necessary for our for us so for you this is you this is you doing things or having done things that actually help you to feel confident that actually help you to feel more passionate about the job or about the relationship or whatever that you're um that you're involved with this is what's coming towards you for, at the in in march so you have this you've been really trying to understand yourself your identity what it is you need what it is you want etc you've been really trying to understand that and it's taken and it's been hard when we see the knight of pentacles we know that there's been some a lot of soul searching maybe even depression with with the knight of pentacles only because it's earth so earth signs could be related to physical um healing you know um the, you know physical you know so you break a leg for example and it's that like healing the leg or whatever but I always link it to mental illness as well, just because only because it's it can be a long standing. That's why I said depression, because it be something that's long standing that takes us a long time to overcome and to understand. So that's why I can link the Knight of Pentacles to that. But it's changes, so it's things that you've been doing to help to to to, to create stability in your life, um, and I really think that's an emotionally or mentally, um, and yeah, maybe you know in a financial kind of way as well, but may, more more emotionally, more mentally. And really, if you can acknowledge in the month of February, if you can acknowledge to yourself the truth of what it is you feel, don't interpret it, the truth of what it is you think, don't interpret it. And if you need to share that with somebody, share it with somebody. And you might be surprised, you will be surprised actually at the response, how they respond um, or how the world responds to you. Um, because it's it's looking like just the acknowledgement of this is not for me in almost instantly brings about a new situation for you and something a, a new opportunity for you um might be a relationship for some of you you know you might have to apologize to an ex-partner for example and you expect them to hate you and tell you to go away but actually you get back together you know it could be anything like that so you know it's almost as if just you acknowledging that this has affected me in this way or this is affecting me the way this is and it's hurting me this way it's almost by acknowledging it and by having the conversation even though you struggle at first to have that conversation it's almost as if doing that almost brings about an instant sort of reward almost it's almost like it's a, it might feel like a miracle i've had the, i've had this exact experience myself oh when i was teaching one day i was like you know what? i cannot do this anymore i was like i'm just i'm going man and i just went and um and then i got a phone call the next i literally got a phone i was like driving out the school gates and i got a phone call for uh for um an audition and uh anyway basically it was good it was like oh my god i like i mean like i got an audition man i'm like this is good so you know Basically, what I'm saying is things happen and it's going to feel like that for you. It's going to, you're not going to get to any sentence before your boss says, well, actually, we're creating a new department and we want you to, we wanted you to head, you know, it's like that type of thing. It's like, you know, going to your ex and, oh my God, I'm really sorry. Like, I know you hate me. It's like saying, oh my God, well, you know, I've been thinking, I've not, I've done nothing but think about you and I can't wait. But it's like almost instant. So I'm excited for you. So I hope, my darlings, that you enjoy Pisces the month of February and March. And I will be back in March with your brand new reading. So enjoy. Um, you can follow Kiwi Center on Instagram and on Facebook for extra little snippets. I'll be talking in a lot more detail about the individual energies really um, and about how these cards, why the court cards represent change, for example, and uh, why the ones represent what they do. So I'll be talking a lot, a lot more about that this year. So check out Instagram and Facebook, Kiwi Center Don't forget to like, share, subscribe this video and check out 
because you might need it. Uh, the conscious med- the conscious meditations in the key wisdom playlist, where you can also find everything mindfulness, meditation, reiki, and tarot. Thank you so much for being here, my lovelies. Have a wonderful February, and I will see you all again at the end of the month with your brand new readings. Take care, my darlings. Bye.